So yeah, so let's talk about it. So we got the 90s, you, you write this story, and it, it takes quite a journey, right, to get where audiences now are seeing it, who may not even know about the comics, right? I, I hope that people find out about both, because I think sure. one helps you understand uh, the other. So yeah, I'm curious about this journey, um, you know, how it got to this point of, of being picked up by Netflix, and also congratulations, uh, season two was announced in August. So just well, thank awesome. you very much. That's awesome. Well, it, it was a long journey. You know, I, the, the thing about it is that uh, I really uh, um, wanted to expand on the uh, the universe that she was in, you yeah. know, take it to uh, new places. Uh, the fact that it was very successful for us, uh, for Antarctic Press, uh, really made us to really exploit as many stories as we could. And we hired a lot of top talent to to expand the, the series. Um, and then uh, back in the early 2000s, I got a, a call from a, uh, a producer named Dean English, who uh, had a small company who did a couple of films and wanted to pick up the rights, uh, the film and TV rights. And uh, it took him a long time, but he finally got it done. <laughs> <I'm here. laughs> How was that phone call, getting that first phone call? Was that exciting? Yeah, was that like... I was very excited, yes. We tried, attempted to do sell a pilot. Uh, we produced our own uh, one-minute pilot animation in hopes that we could sell it as a series. Oh, and really? Is that out yeah. in the internet somewhere where people can yeah, see it, that it, pilot? Yeah, it's on YouTube. You can easily uh, Google it and find it. It's very easy to find. Uh, awesome. We uh, produced it and we shopped it. Uh, around Hollywood and went uh, visited actually several studios uh, and none of them picked it up because they just didn't understand the concept or they just thought it would be too controversial or they just didn't uh, uh, feel that it was their fit, you know? Yeah. So, you know, that, so, so we didn't end up selling it, but apparently word got out and that's how Dean English got a uh, hold of me and he was able to pull it off after 19 years. <laughs> That's sometimes so things crazy. like just take a long time because you know just sometimes the right set of circumstances comes into play and it just happens yeah absolutely you know and you're patient and you're staying with it and you're dedicated right and you don't give up and that's just such a theme in life period uh for for sure what what was the conversation like uh with him about okay how do we bring this story to the screen because, well, you know, I, it is a little different, right? I mean, there's differences uh, between them. So, well, absolutely. And originally, uh, Dean wanted to do a film version of it. And ah, he uh, uh, okay. actually wanted to stick very close to the actual uh, comic book in the look and feel. Yeah. And yeah. so he hired, uh, um, you know, hired someone to do a script and he did a sizzle reel, uh, which he actually produced. Uh, and, uh, uh, apparently, but it was not getting anywhere. No one seemed to be picking up on it. So he asked, uh, a friend of his, Simon Barry, who was a showrunner, uh, who did, uh, a couple of TV episodes, I mean, a couple of TV shows. Um, and I think the one he's most famous, uh, uh I can't remember off the top of my head, but he's done a couple of uh, TV series. So, uh, Simon p uh, helped, uh, Dean. Uh, develop it and uh, got picked up by Netflix and that's uh, where it went from there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, <laughs> that is just, I, I've heard that Netflix is just a great company to develop with. Um, oh, well, I wouldn't know about that, but uh, I mean, I've heard stories, but, uh, but I was there. They seem to be treated. They treated me pretty nicely. Um, they are very, uh, what they would call um, uh, I would say they would probably be very uh, efficient. <laughs> yeah, efficient. Good word. Good word. I like it. That that's the new uh, that's the new way probably in filmmaking and and the way it's going, uh, especially now, right? With everything. Oh, happening. absolutely. Right. Uh, so you got to go to the set, right? You got to fly out to Spain. I saw a picture of you standing next to uh, a badass motorcycle. <laughs> just like it was just the most badass motorcycle you look so happy man i can't tell you the face you had you just look so happy i just thought man that that's a that's somebody's dreams coming true right there oh, that's so inspiring I, right i mean i was ecstatic i mean it was just one of those things where you know you're seeing a creation 
that you worked so long and hard come to uh, come to fruition. And they were so kind to, to fly me out there to uh, witness the, sh the first day of shooting and to meet the cast and the crew. And it was just a tremendous, tremendous experience. You know, I loved every minute of it. And uh, hoping that uh, they'll do the same thing for the next season. Uh, <laughs> I know they're hard at work. They're hard at work on uh, the scripting. And yeah. uh, if all goes well, depending on how things go uh, with the bug, uh, they should start hopefully filming uh, next year's, next spring. 